Hello, and welcome back to the Cove with more EU4 Relentless Push East. Well, we're still fighting over the Commonwealth, and uh, yeah, it is an interesting situation. Still, definitely, uh, it does say where it's in our favour, but at the same time too, we have lost our first fort, but we have made good headway into their land, so, you know, swings and roundabouts. But, given uh, a couple of bad losses in some fights that really should have gone the other way, we're looking at a few men needing to go to our armies, and we're going to go ahead and see about fixing up this manpower situation. Even though it's alright right now, we want to make sure that it is in as good condition as possible. So, what I thought was between videos, let's go ahead and uh, have a look at our state. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if there are any more uh, metropolises to... Yeah, metropolitans to consecrate. That's what I was thinking. Uh, so let's see. What have we got? Is there... Okay. So there is one over here. Uh, that's nice and easy. Let's go ahead and get that done. Uh, so this will increase our patriarchal authority, some maintenance and all. But again, money's not an issue right now. So we'll go ahead and consecrate there. And then, yeah, we have another one over here, which I will happily take. And then I think that that is about it until uh, we deal with some cultural issues. So, yeah, for now we're going to leave that be. Uh, but that does give us a little bit of extra patriarch authority, which then buffs up our local manpower modifier. So, yeah, bringing that up a couple of percentage point, uh, percentage, uh, yeah, will make a bit of a dis difference. Alright, so we've got that sorted. Uh, it does look like uh, Austria is going to go ahead and uh, that should be a pretty solid victory right there. Uh, so, let's go ahead and advance. I think what we're going to do is maybe work our way towards this next fort. And then from there, I think we go ahead and take their capital. Uh, so they did finish up with Ryzen right now, uh, which is a little unfortunate. But again, I think if they're going to try and move over here, they're going to get stuck. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if they go ahead and attack. If they do, we'll go ahead and set the defensive edict. But otherwise, we're going to send these troops and we're going to march over. We're going to march over there. Uh, these guys can go ahead and start occupying a little bit more land and uh, we'll work our way closer just to make sure that if we do get into a fight, we can uh, sufficiently defend ourselves. Alright, and it does look like they are moving to Moscow, so let's go ahead and change our state edict towards a defensive one. They'll have to stay around for a year, but realistically, uh, that's probably as long as it's going to take them to do what they want. Alright, so let's see. Uh, Siege of... Ooh, Podol is over. Excellent. Well then, if that's the case, let's go ahead and break the Commonwealth spirit. Let's move to their capital, and let's make sure that we give them a solid battle. So, let's get our friends in the nearby area as well, and hopefully, yeah, we watch this victory. Come on. Actually, yeah, that looks like a very solid victory there for Austria. That is going to be quite nice. Yeah, that is very good. Oh, and it looks like we're taking a fight in farmlands. This is ideal. There's no penalties. There's no crossings. Sure, Venice has 3,000 more men. But uh, we can easily get you following. And we have a 2-4-3 versus a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so... They will have a slight advantage over us with their general, uh, but realistically, we do outnumber them. It's in uh, neutral terrain. I don't see that being a particularly great uh, situation for them. So, sure, let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, beat them up. That's, uh, yeah, they're at 84,000. There's 13, 33, uh, 56, 57... Yeah, so that's basically the entire army, so we don't really have to worry about any reinforcements. Okay, that's really good. If we can catch them out now, that is... Yeah, we could not ask for anything better. 
Uh, let's also go ahead and quickly split up some of our troops over here. I think since it is going to be a little bit safer, we go ahead and we leave one of them where they are. The other ones can go here, here, and here. Get a couple more occupations, get that war, uh, get that war exhaustion going. Uh, lose your stability or diplo power. Well, we're not going to lose our diplo power. We need to finish our ideas to get our military buffs. So I think we might end up spending some of our administrative power back on a stability. Yeah, I don't see a better choice. We're getting really close to March of 53. No, I'm not losing the diplo power. Lose the stability. We're going to execute someone for our reputation being tarnished. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it is what it is. All right, let's see. How does this fight go? Looks like it's just Russia, uh, just ourselves and the Commonwealth. It looks like Venice got wise and decided to bail. That's excellent. Now, let's take that four stack. We'll move you over here. Yeah, come on. Let's have a look. Yeah, they have 5% extra discipline. It looks like their morale has increased a little bit again. I'm guessing that's probably from prestige going up or down from battles. And then they do slightly beat us out with tactics. But there is no really good tactic about uh, having to deal with an, a larger back row of cannons firing into your front lines. So I think we're going to be fairly safe as far as that is concerned. And would you look at that? We have some extra allies in the area, so let's go ahead and stack on and make sure every loss is permanent for them. Alright, let's march on over, continuing our occupations. They'd be absolutely mad to stay in that fight, and there we have it. We are... Yeah, we've just halved that uh, military unit right over there. That's very nice, and we did significant damage to their cannons, which is very nice. And at a fairly minimal loss for us as well. Yeah, in fact, uh, you know what? Realistically, we probably lost about even numbers. But at the end of the day, we hurt them so much more. And they're not going to be in a situation where they can recover from this. Yeah, they just don't have the manpower. So let's go ahead and those 16,000 cannons can move to Warsaw. Uh, we'll hang out over here and we will occupy the nearby territory. Uh, we will continue marching around and uh, getting some more occupations yeah it looks like Venice might be in a little bit of trouble there with uh, Austria chasing them down hopefully Austria picks up a little bit more morale before that battle but they do have friends so you know what it might actually be all good yeah if this is the case uh, we might actually leave the Commonwealth alone for a little bit and focus after some of their allies in this war. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, and before I forget, we are expending a whole stack of military power this this uh, war. So let's go ahead and make sure that we are barraging the forts where we can. We've wasted some progress there. Uh, so that takes us to 21% and then Warsaw. We're going to barrage those as well. Yeah, straight to 14. That is excellent. Uh, we do need to be careful of the other troops because there should have been about 40,000 troops somewhere around here. Uh, so they're probably going to try and defend their capital if, uh, if they would be doing what I would be doing. Uh, let's move these guys and consolidate our numbers just in case we do need to defend our 27 stack on that fort. Uh, looks like we're doing okay. Let's keep, again, everybody nice and together. Oh, uh, no guys in trouble. Can we catch them? We don't have Force March yet, so that's a little unfortunate. That is Stettin's army. You know what? Uh, let's see. You're heading into Austria's territory. Yeah, let's go ahead and stack uh, some of Stettin's troops. We outnumber them to such an extent and... Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. We're standing still right now. We need to be careful. If uh, one army is here, there's surely another one not too far away. All right. Uh, let's consolidate those troops uh, into a single unit just in case. 
Uh, it's unfortunate that we're going to lose that there, but it is what it is. Uh, I don't think they'll necessarily attack us right there, so let's maybe... Yeah, you're moving one province over. Let's stack wipe that small stack there. That should do nicely. Uh, yeah, these guys are definitely being targeted. But it is grassland, so I think we should be safe. Let's, uh... Yeah, make sure everyone is... Yep, and there's the other 25,000. Okay. Let's go ahead and make sure... that we scorch the earth. And we will hope that we can get this uh, done nicely. Let's send these troops up over here as reinforcements. I can see them already attacking, so let's just see what we can do. Uh, looks like... Yeah, we'll keep a careful eye out. We'll try and get as much reinforced as possible before they attack. Uh, but we do need to be careful. Come on, whereabouts are you guys? 15th of September? Okay, so you're still a little bit of time away. Oh, and we got the siege. Oh, that has got to be painful for them. Alright, that's nice. That is really nice. Uh, we're going to have to do a quick 180, I suppose. We're going to march you over there. And then over here, let's shuffle to there. If they really want that fort, they can go for it. But I think that would be silly. Uh, these fellows, we're going to leave nice and close to their capital. Yeah, we're going to make sure that we make some solid progress. Yeah, because they might be coming in here. So we need... We could maybe race to the woods. Get the defensive territory before they do, and then leave them in marsh or... Hmm, looks like they're already marching there. I don't think... Yeah, they're going to get out of there fast enough. Uh, let's go ahead and send everybody over there. That way we have defensive territory right next to their capital. We've got reinforcements in neutral territory, so that should be safe. Yeah, we're just going to try and make this as awkward as possible for them to do anything of any uh, to, of any note. Alright, and yeah, there you go. They don't want to take that fight. They know that they're in danger if they do. Okay, so let's just see. Oh, you're heading up towards the... To the fort. That's fine. We took their capital. That is brilliant. Uh, let's see, how many troops have they got? Still 82,000. Alright, so what do we do here? We're not going to attack them in the marsh. That's just a bad idea. We'd also be taking a crossing penalty. Uh, we could double back and go for the grasslands. In fact... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Hmm. They're heading south... You guys are heading over there as well. Let's go and... Uh, I think we just finished this occupation for a second. Yeah, I think that that's what we do. Alright, so these guys are heading down. They'll be there on the second. They'll be there on the first. They're both locked in. Let's grab quick two to ones. Or uh, maybe a single battle, but again, out of the way, that is inconsequential to our uh, fighting. You, my friend, can go ahead and move... You're going to be there in a couple of days. So let's give them time to do a turnaround. It looks like they're going to be moving into a different farmlands. Yeah, let's just uh, stay where we are. We'll uh, let this keep on going by. And, oh, there's 13,000 troops. Can we catch them? We'll be there on the 6th. They will... Yeah, we'll catch the smaller stack. I think this is what we do. Yeah, we're going to take this battle here. Uh, that's an easy one, which we know we can win. Uh, we've got reinforcements if necessary. Everybody here is as... Yeah, uh, resupplied as possible. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, and, uh, oh, before I forget, I'm just double-checking our bits and pieces. Let's make sure we get on top of this overextension. That, that needs to go. That needs to go. Alright, so let's see. There goes a 2,000 troops. That is easy. Let's go ahead and do a quick uh, march back up over here. 
Uh, that should be safe. In fact, uh, you know what? No, let's move over towards their next one there. Uh, yeah, this is a minus one. They have the defensive terrain, but they're not close enough to be able to defend. In fact, uh, let's just make sure that we stick around in the capital, just in case they wish to, to uh, reinforce, which it does appear that they're going to. Uh, so, onwards, and... Oh, oh. We can't get there. Oh, this silly fort. Okay, you... You've... Well played. Alright, so, let's see. You'll be there on the 12th, that's tomorrow. Then you can march up here. You, my little friend, can march over there as well. It'll be a couple of days behind, but it is what it is. Let's make sure that you guys in... Uh, actually enter the fight this time. Let's make sure that these all go ahead and recoup. Uh, do we go ahead and attack? Let's see, they have a slightly larger front line and a slightly larger back line. That's not good. Uh, do we just stack? No, you know what? Uh, we're going to go... We're going to zip around and see if we can take that defensive territory and prevent them from getting any reinforcements. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And you're already marching on in. Uh, you'll be there on the 26th. So let's just make sure on the 5th we go ahead and... Oh, well, we already won it. So I guess we don't have to worry about that anymore. We'll march you around. Uh, you're heading up over there. Okay, so let's see. Uh, how are we doing with our enemies? Commonwealth is obviously not feeling too good. Bremen is fine on war score. Uh, Spain is also probably not caring one way or the other. Uh, let's see. Stettin, they have no war score against them either. And then Venice. Ah, it's also at zero. Okay, well. It looks like we're having to deal with a little bit of a fight here. Alright, let's march you guys across. Uh, that's pretty good on morale. You guys are worse, so let's send these guys up over here. Uh, looks like we're fighting in grasslands, whether we like it or not. They'll be there on the 9th, we get there on the 25th, so we will get a little bit of time. Uh, let's wait till the end of the sea, uh, sorry, the end of the month so we get our reinforcements, and then we'll go ahead and make sure that we can defend ourselves. Oh. Uh, did I not do what I thought I did? Oh. Turns out uh, I didn't quite get that right. I thought we were going to uh, be fighting there. Oh, well, we'll uh, make our way around anyway. Uh, we have government abilities. Let's see, what have we got? Uh, losing local autonomy. You know what? I don't think it's going to make a huge difference as of this moment, so we'll leave that be. Um, outside of that, I suppose some rebel reduction at some point could be nice, but again, not that important. It's really the Streltsy that we really want. That extra manpower and loss of war exhaustion is going to be quite nice. Alright, so we'll let that be. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're down to 66,000, so that is almost half their army. Uh, it looks like Caradell is coming on in to reclaim our forts for us. That is excellent. And... Hmm. I don't really see any of our territory getting sieged down. No, we've been able to play this quite nice and defensively. Okay, well... It is what it is. Uh, you guys are heading down south. Let's see. Uh, do we want to go ahead and fight them? Or do we want to break their larger army? I think we try and break their larger army. That seems the most ideal. Uh, it looks like everybody is moving here all at once. And they're locked in. So there's no, there's no choice but to take this fight. Uh, these guys will be there on the... Yeah, same month. Actually, hang on. Both of us are going to be here on the same day. So let's take... Let's take the smaller stack. Okay, yeah, so this is our larger stack. Let's make sure that this is consolidated. Then let's take our... 
Then we'll take a smaller stack. Uh, yeah. And uh, we'll stay here for a day. Maybe two. And then we'll quickly go and chase them down. Oh, you know what? That's not working. Uh, there we go. We'll see if we can uh, make them second guess their decisions. These guys are going to be able to uh, hurry up and attack as well. They'll be on the 10th. So we'll decide where we're moving to. Okay. And they're going to take this fight up over here. So let's take our 22 stack. We'll get them to come on in a couple of days later. Uh, our other buddy here, we will go ahead and pause for two seconds. Uh, you can work on that fort there, since we've got nothing better to do with you. And then you can reinforce in a couple of extra days, and we'll make our way up over there. So, no matter what they do, they're going to get caught into a fight, and there's nothing that can be done to help them. I do get the defensive woods. Okay, well, this is going to be a little bit annoying, but at least we're going to catch them. Uh, let's see. You. Yeah, everyone's locked on in, so uh, the battle's happening whether we like it or not. Uh, you can now go ahead and redirect and attack from that flank. Uh, you my other friend can go ahead and arrive 29th will be there a couple of days later as well yeah we're just going to have to go for a uh, very unorthodox attack into defensive terrain which was not my plan i was really hoping that we could stock uh yes yeah, stack our troops on them in neutral territory but again we have the numbers here there's no way that they can defend yeah they've bailed uh let's go Let's go and send them there. The others can stay. Yeah, and we will just siege some things down. Yeah, once we have a way through there, uh, through these forts, I think uh, we should be able to go ahead and uh, focus down somewhere like Venice. That is my goal. All right, barrage that fort there. Uh, let's recoup a little bit of manpower. That should be nice. Looks like we're occupying things. That is excellent. Looks like Austria is about to yeah, go back in and attack them on that fort. They really do not like that fort there. That is... Uh, yeah, it is grasslands, which I guess is makes it a bit easier for them to attack. But uh, yeah, it's really not that... Uh, it's really not that amazing. Alright, uh, let's see. This is still all good. Rebels, uh, that's not ours f to deal with. Yeah. Alright, I think we just leave it for now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're heading... You're heading over there. 19,000, that is grasslands. Yeah, I think they can. I think they can handle all of that. All right, conversions are successful. Let's see if there is any more. No. Hang on a second. Subjects, right? I guess that's what we're doing now. We're uh, dealing with this. Uh, what do we want? Get rid of the Protestants and the Catholics. I guess that makes a bit of sense. We need to enlighten them to their inferior theology. All right, we'll work on those. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? 28% there. Let's go ahead and bring that up to 7% here. Yeah, at this rate, they might be uh, getting their military stuck behind all of these forts at some point soon. That would be rather nice. Alright, more conversions are successful. Let's keep on the good work. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's just make our... Th Third missionary uh, autonomous. That'll help. Uh, let's see. Saxony and Portugal. I don't really see us being able to uh, finagle a royal marriage over there. Yeah, they're not exactly the right... In the right spot. They're not really keen on our idea of a royal marriage. Nope. Okay. 
Alrighty, well, let's just let things happen. Uh, let's double check too. Did we get the war score? Yes, we do. We've got ticking war score now. Uh, that is going to be really, really good for us. Uh, that means we can slowly work our way up. Uh, there is our first siege. That is brilliant. Let's go. And, oh, Sweden. Okay, nicely done. You guys are working against Venice. That's brilliant. Austria is over here. Let's see. Anywhere else we can attack? Nothing of note. Yeah, there's a bit of Spain, obviously, that we could deal with. But again, that's not exactly the best thing for us. Uh, where is some of the smaller nations? We have Bremen. Yeah, Bremen. We could go for that. Or Stettin. Oh, the Commonwealth also have some troops over here. Ah, very, very clever. Yeah, okay, so that's where the majority of the Commonwealth's army is hiding. Yeah, that's, uh, what, 23... Yeah, about 23,000, and then another 9, 10, so that's 30,000 of their troops. That leaves 50,000, there's another 20, so there's another 30 stacks somewhere else. Okay, so they still have troops, they're just not, uh, they're just not consolidating very well, so you know what? Yeah, their manpower is almost cooked, so you know what? I think we're going to leave our sieges as they stand. Let's go. Um, where do we go? I think this is the next fort that makes the most sense for us to work against. Uh, we'll take this one here, we'll take that one over there. And then once we have this, we'll then work our way around and stand on uh, Bremen. And then we can piece them out of the war fairly easily, I think. Uh, hopefully without too much fighting. If they want to take attrition on a siege, I honestly don't care if they reclaim it. Uh, that's not going to be too... That's not going to be too crucial, and given the fact that they have such minimal manpower, uh, I think that could be to our advantage if they want to focus on such things. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll send you over there. We'll send you over here. Uh, let's go... What is this? This is a level 2 fort. So, let's create a new unit. Uh, you have no manoeuvre. Let's just send everyone bar cannons back a single province. Yeah, and then, you know, we'll do the same thing here as well. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new unit. Probably should have done that a little while ago, but you know what? It is what it is. We still have enough manpower that I'm not too concerned. We have plenty of reinforcements to come by. It uh, looks like Austria is chasing down some more of the Commonwealth. That means... Yeah, they're probably in a very bad way if that is the case. Hopefully we're not too spread out. Um, hopefully, but we'll see. Alright, more occupations. That's nice. Let's keep on keeping on and we'll start reconsolidating. Uh, that's fine. And uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, let's, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, how is our annexation progress going right now? 37%. Yikes. Okay, well, that's certainly taking its time. Uh, a little bit of extra Diplo rep wouldn't go astray. Although, hmm. We seem to be losing a little bit of uh, diplomatic power. It's now going up to August of 1553. So that's a couple of months. We should have... Before it was showing that it would be March. So what have we done that's uh, causing us trouble? Hmm. Maybe it's not taking into account our integration at the moment. Yeah, our monthly increase is six. Yeah, it's costing seven to integrate. Yeah, I don't believe we have... Uh, no, we have enough relations. Uh, yeah, we have enough space for those relationships that we do have. That's nothing bad. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Hmm. 
kind of a little bit annoying. All right, Siege of Plock is over. Excellent. Let's quickly, uh, I know you're nothing but cannons, but, uh, <laughs> what are they going to do? Uh, so let's, uh, send them in. Let's get their front line to re uh, to rejoin them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're just going to hang out over there, I think. Uh, again, it's not like uh, they're going to reinforce fast enough. That works fine. Uh, we'll leave you over here. If you want to keep on burning to attrition, that is fine by me. Looks like Austria is joining on in on the party, so that is excellent. Uh, you know what? At this stage, yeah, let's just start. Let's find some people to peace on out. So let's go. Let's move over to Bremen. Let's get an extra... 22,000 troops to join them as well. Make sure that we have uh, some kind of defensive ability if necessary. Uh, these guys here should be fairly safe by themselves. Oh, well, all together. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's not bad. Maybe we catch out that 15 stack. That could be nice. Uh, still occupying more and more. It looks like... Yeah, here we go. No guys working on it. Stettin may have lost a battle... Commonwealth is trying to retake some of their land, but their... Oh, well, they're actually... Their war enthusiasm is rather high. Okay. And their war exhaustion is only 5.8. Hmm. That does make me wonder whether they're paying it down and they're losing it out on a whole stack of Diplo power. And you know what? If that really hurts them for their tech and uh, the next institution, it's perfectly fine by me. Alright, so let's see. 30,000 here, another 22 there. If they try and attack us, we should be able to handle them nice and easily. Uh, we're now getting to almost the max... Oh no, we're not close to the maximum administrative power. We'll let it keep on ticking on up for a bit. Uh, yeah, we can almost have 1,200, so that's fine. Uh, let's see. Bremen, you are not feeling too good. Can we piece you out? No, we cannot. Okay, then. I guess uh, we will do what we must. Alright, so let's see. Yep, you have no uh, siege ability. We'll take you to the, yeah, to the uh, adjacent province. Making sure that we're not taking more attrition than necessary. Uh, let's see. Fort level 3. Let's go ahead and leave nothing but cannons. Uh, we'll send you here. In fact, we'll send you over. Yeah, do a quick U-turn. Uh, that should be fine. Siege is over of another fort. These guys then can move whereabouts. Well, that's Stettin proper. I feel like... Hmm. How many troops have they got? 5,000? That's not that... Uh, but again, it does break down the strength of their alliance. We have 40,000 odd troops. Maybe some extra if Austria is in the mood. Uh, let's rejoin these fellows. Those guys can move over there. And I think we will inch our way forwards. Yeah, if they're going to start bailing on here, we're going to go for Stettin. Uh, we're going to try and break them. I think that's going to be the uh, best way for us to do things. Yeah, starting to break down the strength of their alliance is what's going to be the big thing here. Uh, who is fighting here? Hang on, let's have it. Venice. Venice. Uh, Venice and Austria. Where is Austria? Oh, Austria's are under there as well. They're just not showing, and they have a whole heap of troops. <laughs> Into farmlands. Yeah, those guys are toast. Uh, there is not much they can do whatsoever. Yep, yeah. okay. We're definitely going to go ahead and advance on uh, Stettin here. Let's go. Uh, you know what? We almost had that occupation. It's worth waiting for. Let's shuffle you off over there. Uh, you guys can be... You know what? A couple of days isn't going to make a big difference. There we are. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll shuffle you over there. So you can reinforce each other if necessary. Yeah, sure, the Commonwealth can put a couple of uh, 
troops on Austria, but that's not my problem. Looks like we're fairly safe from everything. Yeah, they still haven't tried to make any more advancements into our land. Still not seeing any signs from Spain, so I think we're going to be in a rather uh, good position to keep working this to our favour. Uh, yeah, they've only got one, two, three forts left. Yeah, they're, they're uh, very much going to be hurting by the time we're done with these guys. Uh, but you know what? That is going to be for us to figure out in the next one. We'll try and piece out some of their other peoples. And then uh, I think we head straight for Spain. I think we'll leave Austria to go against the Commonwealth uh, once we piece out these guys. And uh, see what kind of money we can bank from Spain. So if you do want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content. And I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.